Well, here in West Yorkshire, it seems there's been a mod revival with three young lads from Sorby Bridge taking scooters into the 21st century. Phil Connell has been to meet them. <laughs> Vary, Tom O'Keefe and Dan Nichols have been loyal friends for almost 10 years. A friendship that's no doubt been helped by one common interest, a passion for anything connected with mods and scooters. What began though as a weekend hobby has now developed into an international business with John, Tom and Dan producing their own magazine for self-confessed scooter addicts. It so far had a small cult following, but with help from a major publisher it's about to be sold worldwide, receiving backing from several mod icons. We've had sort of contact with Roger Daltrey from the Who and Pete Townsend and Paul Weller reads it and the Gallagher's and you know, we have a pretty famous readership. Being distributed by Tower Records in America, right across America, and Japan, they're just sort of into the style thing, you know, more than anything. It's gone down the storm, really. Absolutely. Yeah. I personally feel once you're on a scooter, you've got, you know, got a bit of face where you get on a bike, you can be anybody, a commuter, but, you know, just look at the bike. Um, but from my personal point, it's just instant cool. Magically bored on a quiet street corner. Free frustration in our minds and our toes. For these three lads, though, it's more than cool, with the scooters' resurgence compounding the rival rockers and leaving the mods on a clear road to fame and fortune. Bill Connell, look north, Sobey Bridge.